Hi, today I have interesting problem for you. Uh, from the first glance it seems like it is difficult problem, but believe me, this is a uh, really simple problem and um, just in a five minutes you would be able easily to solve such problem and if you feel that you can solve this problem on your own so you can stop video here and try to choose the correct answer and it would be good if you would be able to explain why you choose this particular answer and then you can run video again and uh, you would be able to see my answer and my explanation so um, here is a problem in peace a tall yellow seeded plant is crossed with a homozygous short green seeded plant and yields 200 three tall green seeded plants, 199 short green seeded plants, 207 tall yellow seeded plants and 192 short yellow seeded plants. The most likely genotype of the tall yellow seeded parent is and you have to choose from these four answers and in order to solve this problem we will start with analyzing what we already know and as you see here in peers a tall yellow seeded plant is crossed with a homozygous short green seeded plant so we know that one of the parents is homozygous short green seeded plant so short is abbreviated as t small and t small and uh, as you see here, uh, uh, tall can be as T uh, capital T small and also as uh, T capital and T capital. So we know that uh, one of the parents is homozygous, so both um, alleles are of the same kind. And we also know that it is short, so we put a uh, small t. And uh, another set of alleles that is, uh, stands for color, and we know that it is green seeded, so we put um, small y and small y. So we know the genotype of one of the parent. And now we have to choose uh, which parent. Uh, if we cross this particular genotype with uh, what kind of genotype here on the left in order to produce uh, results uh, that is described in our problem. So uh, now in order to simplify our problem let's uh, do all this what problem uh, and make it in short notations. So uh, we see that one plant uh, one cross yields a uh, plant with uh, 203 tall and green seeded plants. And that means, so let me put here 203 tall, so we know that uh, one at least uh, allele should be capital T. Uh, another one we don't know, it can be small t or also it can be uh, capital T so we just put blank space here and uh, it's also we know that is uh, green seeded so we only put here uh, Y and Y so this is going to be a genotype of uh, one kind of uh, plants another genotype would be uh, 199 short and green seeded so we put 199 short and that means small t small t and green seeded it would be also small y small y the third group of plants would be tall and yellow seeded so we have to put 207 Tall, so we have to put at least one capital T uh, another one we don't know it can be once again small T or capital T 
uh, both of, of these genotypes produce one phenotype that is tall and this time uh, color should be yellow so we put at least one capital Y and here we don't know whether it is a uh, second allele also capital Y or small y anyway this is going to be a phenotypically tall plant and the last type of uh, group of plants going to be 192 short and it should be yellow seeded plants so we put 192 short and that means short can be produced if we only have small t small t so both alleles should be uh, stand for small and it's also said that is yellow seeded so at least one allele should be capital Y and it should be dominant to uh, small y so we don't know whether there is two alleles that uh, stand for yellow uh, color of the seeds or if, if it is only one but both of them would produce same phenotype so as you see here um, here is a ratio that we got and this ratio also can be represented as uh, we have 1 to 1 to 1 to 1 ratio and now uh, this is our parent 1 whose uh, genotype and phenotype we know and now we have to choose uh, which of the parents on the left when crossed with this particular genotype would produce us these uh, ratios and these uh, phenotypes uh, that we see here. We are not sure about uh, genotypes yet, but we know phenotypes here. So let's now um, think and analyze. For example, if we take uh, answer D and you see here we have uh, small t small t and uh, our parent we would say this is going to be parent one uh, whose genotype and phenotype is known is also a small t small t and if we cross uh, let me draw for example Punnett square here small t small t here one parent and small t small t another parent so such a cross would be only possible to produce uh, only uh, uh, green seeded uh, sorry uh, only short uh, plants so as you see we here we have one tall plant that is here and here is a um, tall plant. So this is one to one ratio and 50% uh, would be uh, short. So if we combine 203 with uh, 207 this is going to be uh, 410 and if we combine these two numbers this is also roughly should be around uh, 400 so we know that ratio of the tall and short is uh, one to one. So uh, we can cross out this answer. We even don't have to compare uh, second set of alleles that stands for uh, color of the seeds. And we also can cross out answer C because we cannot have two parents uh, that going to be uh, homozygous uh, short so we never would be able to get uh, tall plants that is 50% uh, as you see when we cross a uh, short plant homozygous short plant with homozygous short plant so there is uh, no way how we can get it so uh, let's now consider answer B so we have small t small t here and uh, capital T capital T here 
and let's once again build the Punnett square so what we may get here so one parent is uh, homozygous dominant for this trait and another one homozygous recessive for this trait and if we cross these two parents right now we analyze only one set of the alleles so this is going to be small t capital T small t capital T small t capital T and small t capital T here and as you see all of the progeny would be tall plants there is no way how we can get 50% of the tall plants and 50% uh, of the short plants so uh, we can cross out this answer also and we left only with answer A so let's now also check if it is correct answer or not or maybe there is no correct answer at all so uh, let's now build the Punnett square once again so parent one one parent one uh, is um, small t small t and parent two is uh, capital T and small t so if we cross to these plants what we are going to get capital T small t here small t small t here capital T small t here and small t small t here and as you see 50% of the plants would be tall and 50% of the plants would be short and this is exactly the numbers that we have here uh, this is going to be tall this is also tall and about the same number would be of the short plants so one to one ratio of the tall and uh, short would be uh, satisfied so let's now consider uh, second set of, of the alleles that is capital Y and small y for one parent and uh, homozygous condition for the second parent that is small y small y and this is the same thing as with uh, previous example we are going to get a one to one ratio so 50% would be uh, homozygous uh, recessive so y y condition small y small y and 50% uh, would be heterozygous that going to be yellow seeded because uh, at least uh, one in heterozygous uh, genotype at least one uh, allele present that stands for the dominant trait that uh, stands for the color that is going to be yellow and uh, homozygous condition would be uh, of course uh, green color so uh, answer A would be correct because it satisfy all the uh, numbers that we have here uh, so we would going to get a 50 to 50 percent ratio of the tall and uh, small plants and 50 to 50 percent ratio of the short uh, oh, sorry of the green colored seed plants and uh, yellow colored seed plants so now you see that uh, such uh, word problem that seems from the first glance like uh, rather complex and difficult uh, can be solved very easily and the last thing that we probably have to check is uh, if phenotype or genotype of this parent would meet requirements uh, that is described in the problem and we have here at all and here we have capital T small t that is going to be a tall plant and yellow seeded and we have capital Y and small y and heterozygous condition would produce yellow seeded plant so we meet all the requirements of our problem and the last comment uh, here probably I shouldn't use the sign 
of the ratio because when we compare uh, color and tallness and uh, short plants we should use uh, separately so it would be more clear and we also can put here uh, colors for example uh, yellow and green or we may use capital Y and small y and also tall and short or we also may use uh, capital T and small t so uh, now I think this would be much clear uh, thank you for your attention please subscribe to my new videos that I post almost every day goodbye